All right, here we go, last patient of the day, and I'm uh, heading out by Ashley, heading out to the Chicago Midwinter Meeting that's uh, coming up for the next few days. See you guys soon. Alrighty, looks like my Uber ride is here as well. So it's going to be an exciting uh, meeting coming up in Chicago because that's uh, we're going to uh, launch the um, BC Liner, which is, I have talked to you guys about in a previous video. But what's exciting about it is that now all of a sudden it's going to be a reality. I'm very excited about this material because it's uh, going to allow a lot of different functionality and uses of the bioceramic, specifically the putty and the scenery, for uses of repair and all kinds of different things that I'm going to talk to you about in the upcoming year. So let's go to Chicago together. Alrighty, so heading out at the airport. Everything is closed down. All right, so here we go. It's the next day, and I'm in my hotel room. So we're gonna head out to the uh, exhibit hall now to check out the launch of the DC liner, and uh, maybe get a chance to talk about it a little bit and what it can do clinically. I must tell you, I love Chicago. It's a very special city to me. Of course, I spent four years here at Northwestern in downtown Chicago. Had a wonderful time. Great food, great people, lovely city, Midwest hospitality, and uh, New York-like city life. So I come to the Midwinter Meeting every year. I think it's pretty much the largest uh, meeting here in North America. All right, so why don't you attend this little talk as well on Endo. Pretty good series of courses going on here. Ah, dental right, students yeah. here. There you go. How are you guys? Well, then, though, uh, fans, you guys watch our videos? I watch Terrific. all of them, yeah. <laughs> Terrific. Learn a lot. Very informative. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here I am at the Brassler booth, and uh, this is uh, the launch of the famous and the Sequence BC liner. So let's take a quick look and see what we have here in the box. All right, so what we have here is we have the liner material that comes in this box. What we have inside here is obviously the material safety data sheet and the instructions. Let's take a look here and see. BC liner with the instructions for use. And right inside this little pouch, these are auto mix mixing tips with this specific bendable tip that really makes it easy for application into a tight spot that is deep inside the root or something like that. And down here is the BC liner itself. As you can see here, what we have is a five milliliter uh, double barrel syringe that will then take one of these Automix syringes. So here it is, we have 40 tips, so that's pretty good. What I'm gonna do now also is I wanna take a look and see how many applications can I get out of this one syringe using the BC liner. All right, so let's take a quick look and see how many applications we can get out of this one syringe of BC liner used as a liner. I'm gonna actually probably even apply a little bit more because some of the applications for this material, of course, is to use it as a long-term provisional. This is what I kinda like to use the material for. So let's open this pouch up and the goal here is given all these syringes that we have, can we get the 40 applications out of this material or not? I'm gonna just take and apply and then change tips to try to mimic what we do exactly clinically. So the key here is every time you're putting on a tip to one of these automix syringes, because you have two barrels, including the catalyst and the uh, base material, you have to slightly just bleed the syringe so that you have a equal mix of the catalyst and the base right here at the tip so that it's an even mix. So let's go take a quick look and see what we have. So first of all, when you put the tip on, that's the auto mix tip. What you could do is you could also bend this in any direction that you want, and that's one of the great advantages of having the, uh, um, this specific type of tip for application. So let's take a look and see what we have. So it auto mixes and you dispense the material out. And I think that is pretty much a generous portion of the material here to be exposed out.
So you can see compared to the size, these are more generous portions than what would be used as a liner. All right, so it looks like we do get about 38 and a half uses out of the syringe, which is certainly plenty enough for uh, the, uh, you know, for, for a full syringe kind of a thing. And based on the price, it comes out to be fairly inexpensive in terms of applications. All right, so what we do is let's go inside so we can talk a little bit about the properties of the material, how you can use it clinically, and all kinds of cool stuff. All right, let's go. All right, so let's see if we can go ahead and find a little quiet place where we can talk about this guy. Alrighty folks, so let's talk about the BC liner. What is special about BC liner and what is the application of this material that I just showed you? What BC liner does is it helps to be an interface between the bioceramic liner materials that have the most biocompatibility against tissues and the restorative material. So here's what I'm trying to say. If you have a perforation or if you have a pull cap situation, whether it's direct or indirect, what you are facing is a situation in which on the one side of the perforation where you have an interface with cells, whether it's pulpal cells or PDL cells, you need to have the most biocompatibility. And when it comes to the most biocompatibility, we know that a pure bioceramic, a bioceramic that does not contain any resin at all, would give us the most biocompatibility. But we have a problem with pure bioceramics, and it's the problem that by placing them against and repair these areas with them, um, these materials do not set so quickly. They have a setting time, and even in the case of the fast set putty, that is anywhere from 20 minutes to the final set that's about an hour. And even other bioceramics that are calcium carbonate based materials, the final set is in fact, uh, based on studies, could be weeks later on. So the rest, the, the, the placement of a definitive restoration over a pure bioceramic has always been a concern. And to that extent, this BC liner, which is a bioactive uh, ionic and uh, hydrophilic uh, dual cure resin ionomer was developed and was optimized so that it could interface and um, adapt over the bioceramic, a pure bioceramic such as the BC putty or BC sealer or BC RRM or in fact even MTA to cover that material and you have to extend it over about a millimeter or two around and beyond the defect that is filled with the bioceramic into clean dentin because the material is self-adhesive and it uh, does etch and uh, self-bond to the pure and clean dentin so that you can create what I call a lid technique in which you're using the BC liner as a lid over the pure bioceramic so that it allows the bioceramic time to set undisturbed and what you end up with because the material the BC liner is a dual cure material you can light cure it and you immediately have a surface that is no longer bioceramic onset bioceramic but rather this um, resin ionomer surface that has been uh, cured to which you can then etch and bond your final restoration and proceed to complete the case. And that is a significant leap forward in terms of the efficiency of care that you can achieve. Previously people were using regular liners that were all contained um, the, this resin component for being dual cure. And that really came at the cost of reducing the biocompatibility of these materials. So now that this technique was uh, developed specifically for the combination of a pure bioceramic and then covering that material with this uh, type of a dual cure bioactive resin ionomer that releases calcium and phosphate as well as fluoride and self etches and bonds and is dual cure, all of a sudden you have this capability of doing these repair procedures where you can get the maximum biocompatibility and the clinical efficiency of doing them in a single visit more efficiently. So let's say for example if you are accessing a tooth and unfortunately there is an accident, there is a perforation, you have to very quickly repair it and then cover it with this lid 
uh, over the bioceramic and then any additional search for finding the canal will not result into the washout of the bioceramic. So there's a number of different applications for this material that I have developed over the past two years that I've been working on this material in terms of bringing it and combining its use with the pure bioceramics. And uh, I will share them with you over the next, uh, in the upcoming year. Uh, for example, the placement of a thin layer of this material over the frication floor or over the root canal filling material Material will enhance the prevention of coronal leakage following temporization. For example, if you do your root canal and instead of putting cotton on cavit, putting a two millimeter layer, two to three millimeter layer of this material, because of the self etch and self bonding cap capacity that it has, will help reduce coronal leakage until the tooth is uh, finally restored at a subsequent time. You can also, in fact, fill the material all the way up to the surface of the cavity as a provisional, and then at a subsequent visit, because the material has high contrast and it's a patient's white, uh, you are able to visualize it, and then you can drill down into it a few millimeters and use the rest of it as base at that subsequent visit and place your core material. Lots and lots of applications that I have developed and I have cases to, to support them and I will share them with you in the upcoming year. But until then, uh, give uh, the material a try. I'm sure if you are already using lots of bioceramics in these specific applications of uh, pulp capping and perforation repair and other types of repairs, the addition of this BC liner as a protection layer over the bioceramic is going to come very handy to you because this particular type of liner has been optimized to use with bioceramics and it has specific advantages for both application as well as compressive and bonding uh, uh, strength advantages over the other liners that are even resin ion or that are on the market. So it's worth giving it a shot and I purposely worked hard to get this priced at a much lower price compared to all the other materials in terms of applications as you saw in that little video that I showed you that you were able to get about 30 some 30 to 40 applications out of a single syringe that is priced uh, um, that comes out to be a very very uh, low price per application anyway from uh, the beautiful city of uh, Chicago and the uh, CDS meeting the Chicago midwinter meeting and for Rio Dendo I'm Ali Nase and I hope you found this information helpful in the meantime let's save some tea